Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. It is a stellar day today in Sydney. It's about 20 degrees Celsius. It is a Sunday, Sunday fun day. If you have watched my channel and you know of my videos, I have put out in the past a video or two called Sunday Market Hall. I have explained that it's not actually shopping in markets like stalls, street markets. It's just me and I'm strange and <laughs> I just call it my Sunday market haul. So it's things on Sundays that I pick up that are essentials, uh, things I may need. It usually involves flowers. Matter of fact, it is completely based around flowers. Uh, I will go over what I'm wearing on my lips, but right now it is just my Essence Lip Liner Pencil in Satin Mauve 06 because we have something we have picked up that I'm going to place over it. And I am drinking my water with lemon slices in the bottom of it in a plastic sippy cup. First up, the flowers. Of course, it would not be a Sunday market haul without flowers. Again, these are from Harris Farm. These were $7.50 and these John Quills, these sorry, these are just tea roses in a hot orange colour. And these John Quills were $3 a bunch. Uh, and yeah, they're just beautiful. If you've never smelt John Quills, oh my gosh, they may be called something else in your country, but here in Australia they are called John Quills. They are out in full, full season and they're just beautiful. So let's go ahead and put uh, one of these two behind me. Uh, I always need my flowers in my background. So firstly, oh, receipt stuck to bag from Harris Farm, which is where I got my flowers from. It is a fruit food market, but in this kind of like hempy Oregon natural kind of wooden stand, very earthy. They had these cool soaps. My husband loves bars of soaps. I myself am more of a body wash kind of gal, but he likes bars of soap, so we always try to find them. These were on sale for $3.99. Sorry. We got one in the Fran Japani, and they're Australian made, which is really cool. The company is Australian Botanical botanical soap there we go it's got a cool imprint of what it is so that was Fran Japani this one is goat's milk they're Australian made and all natural ingredients this is the palm oil there we go and the last one we got is lemongrass price line uh, we got essentials I use body wash I picked up my three favorite Lux body washes. These are great exfoliants and they were on sale, which was really good. They're on sale for $5.95. I picked my husband up some Listerine. We are mouth obsessed, or at least I am. I then picked up the Oral-B 3D white, white, white strips. Yeah, the white strips. And this is, this was on sale. This is a 28 pack. So it's on sale in Priceline, so it's actually better value. The other day I had picked these two up from Priceline, but I'm going to show you them anyway now. If you watched my review video on my twin set, I was wearing this. I rubbed my face. I rubbed it on my bag. People were giving me kudos for doing it. I was gutted for a little while, but then I fixed it with a wet one. Uh, it is the Matte Flawless Fit Me lid swizzled round there you go they are uh, supposedly new the Maybelline fit me and then this is the which one is supposedly new maybe they both are and this one is the fit me Maybelline fit me new look dewy uh, the dewy smooth foundation and this has got the SPF 15 I got them both in the 120 uh, classic ivory however they in the bottle, the dewy looks darker, so the dewy's there. I do love them. I had the uh, matte flawless on in that video, poreless flawless, matte poreless in that video, but I have since, I put them together, I liked it, but since just started using the dewy, and I really like that with powder over the top of it, it's great foundation, similar 
to my true match. We had to stop at the uh, makeup sections, obviously. It's drugstore, it's price line, you have to. Rimmel London 60 second super speed, super shine. That's wrong. 60 second super shine. This is in the color 500 um, caramel cupcake. It is on my nails right now because uh, they had a tester and I painted all my nails. Duh! These are fun and I got them just because they were fun. I have opened them and I will swatch them for you. Someone said please swatch when you get things. With drugstores here it's hard because you can't open them. They are two Revlon, wait for it, Ultra HD. And this is the 570 Smoky Topaz in my right hand, left to you. And this is 530 HD uh, Rose Quartz. God, the writing is so... That is the packaging. And yes, they are dusty rose mauve kind of colours because that is what I ultimately will wear when we kind of stray. It doesn't get used. Really pretty. They're super shimmery. So this is the rose quartz here on this side and that is the uh, smoky, what did I say? Topaz on that side. So super shimmery, pretty pigmented. They say they're long lasting so we will give it a go. And then lastly, as a gift to the hubby, because I know he loves this cologne. When we first started dating, I swear I remember seeing it all the time in his car and it was kind of actually a beaten up bottle. It is the Calvin Klein Euphoria for Men, obviously a very kind of famous fragrance of theirs. So that will be given to him as a gift because I'm a good wife. Ding! Okay, I really need to speed this up now because we're gonna lose light and this is gonna be super duper long. I had stopped in at Mecca. Here they are, always rapid cute. I really, really wanted to get my hands on this. Really wanted to. My Too Faced Melted Chihuahua, which I'm loving. I saw they came out with the new line Melted Metal, and the liquid lipstick, but it's like almost foiled. What do they say? Like metallic. Yeah, it's metallic, which I mean is probably totally over the top for me, but I wanted to try it nonetheless. So we got Melted Metallic Peony. This is the packaging again, Too Faced. Everything is just so cute. This is the packaging of the actual liquid lipstick. It is so cool. So again, the Melted Metal, and this is in the Metallic Peony. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it cause we are going to put this on. There's the little uh, sponge applicator so you can see I'm pumping it through there and it already looks like it's just like candy really. Okay, let's have some fun. Just remembering it's fun guys. <laughs> Not too serious now. Oof, the zhuzh honey, the zhuzh. I look like Goldie Horn. So I have put it over the top of my Satin Mauve Lip Liner by Essence, uh, that's not just on a bare lip, and you know what, I like it. Yes, it is pink, I get it, I'm not the biggest femme fatale kind of girl, but it's fun. Also from Stila, I picked up the, what is this, Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. And of course, I got it in a brown, and the color is Spice. So here it is, again, the Stila Smudge Proof Water, what, Smudge Proof, Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. And I remember the lady was very sweet and she was helping me, but it is super pigmented. Let's just put a bit. This is not how you do it, Jerusha. I think you swatch it down here and then you show. Look how pigmented this thing is. I did say this on Snapchat. I got the 20th, 20th, 20 year celebration Marie Claire, Australia Marie Claire. Uh, I was a sucker for Giselle, of course, who isn't. And I was a sucker for all the gold foiling. Total sucker. 
think we're so cool. And on the top in a packet, as I showed on Snapchat, there was this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Voluminous Mascara. And I am happy to say, after using it, even though it is not waterproof and one single tiny little tear or watery eye will make it run into your eye and it stings like a bish, it is really cool. I use it to totally pump up under my lashes, my real lashes into my false lashes, so upwards, and it really blends them nicely. I stopped in at my favorite homewares place, Bed, Bath and Table. I know it sounds similar to Bed, Bath and Beyond from the States, but it's not. It's called Bed, Bath and Table. So first up, and what was so cool, a lot of this was on special. So if you can get into one, I'm sure it's still going as well. This towel pack, which has a really cool uh, grey uh, triangular square geometric uh, print on it. And they're really crispy towels. When I say crispy, I mean they'll dry you. They won't just move the water around and kind of like not dry you at all. Uh, this pack was on sale for $39.95. And then also in the world of grey <laughs> was this gorgeous throw. I thought again this geometric print was beautiful. It was on sale. It was on sale for, again, $39.95, down from $80, so that's great. And it's this beautiful geometric print, will go lovely just hanging over my armchair in the living room, or my husband has kind of like a study chair in the back, so it might just hang really nicely because that's brown. These weren't on sale, but I'm always needing tea towels. I cook a lot with my mother-in-law and we just get spices everywhere. Uh, <laughs> these two tea towels came in a pack of two, they were 12, sorry, a pack of three and they were 12 95 And now onto the Prezies. We love Jill's and she's currently in Melbourne on work and I miss her already. She only left this afternoon. Uh, so we got her some gifts. We're going to show them to you. We got her. This beautiful vase, this would be probably a single or double stem vase. It was originally $9.95 and I think it was on sale for half price. And it's just a really cool frosted glass um, dome shape, I would say. And I know she'll love that. Also, for old Jill's, this reminded me so much of when they lived in the country. And look at that cake plate. And my mom, if you follow her on Instagram, she's a mad baker. She taught me how to bake at the age of six. And all of her cakes, all of her mother's recipe cakes are amazing. They're delicious. And I got her this big, beautiful, absolutely vintage, antique looking cake stand. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And it was on sale. It was on sale from $30 down to $19. So love that. So they were gifts for Mumsy. And then over in the vase section, because, you know, while I was looking for Mum, I saw this cutie again, kind of looks a little bit vintage, kind of looks a little bit antique. It's a beautiful single stem flute and it kind of, it's in complete white porcelain. But it's just, they're making, it's like nouveau vintage. They're making new things look so vintage now. And it originally was $15 and it was on sale for $3. So, duh. I swear my husband will just love this piece. It is so quirky. Not quirky, sorry. It is so cool. I have... I don't know, I guess I've always wanted, it's like a novelty piece, that's what it is. I've always wanted something like this, and when I saw this one, I was like, done, look at this. Are you kidding? It is an hourglass with, it says here, white sand, so glass, hourglass, and it was $29.95. But just look at it, it's like its own piece of art. It's beautiful, like this hexagon shape. And then, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, the actual sand inside this thing is like 
diamonds, like finely grained diamonds. So like, ding. So it will just slowly fill up all the way to the bottom. I find it kind of peaceful just to watch it. It's kind of like a meditation tool as well. Don't you guys love that? Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. So I'm pretty sure that completes my Sunday market haul. At the end here, I do want to update you. I will be having a vlog sale. The vlog sale is going to be held on my website. My website is always up here. I built it myself on Wix.com and there is a page called blog sale. It generally remains empty until I have the blog sale. It's not a permanent page that I'm always going to have things on. All of these items, I haven't started anything. I don't have a consignment situation going. They're not my friends that I'm taking commission of. It's not that. It's simply like friends or mum who've given me their old items that want me to sell them. So these items that will be in this blog sale are mine, mum's, so Jill's, and Victoria. You remember my video with Tor? We showed you our favourite, favourite, sorry, Louis Vuitton items. And so that's where these came from. Uh, I will be having my pochette accessories in Damier Azure in this blog sale. Uh, it's in here because it's in absolutely brand new condition. I have never used it. I've never taken it out of the house. I rarely even take it out of the box and that's why it's in here. It is my Damier Azure uh, pochette accessories. That will be up on the blog sale. Mum has a full black leather Oriton bag with the silver hardware here on the sides. She has used it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's not in used condition at all. She she really takes care of her bags. Uh, but this is it. It's a beautiful kind of hobo style bag. Very nice. Similar to a portobello I would say. And it's got beautiful interior. All these bags come with dust bags and if they need authenticity cards. So that's mum's black Oriton bag. And then the prize possession of Victoria's that will be going up is this amazing Prada bag and it is just gorgeous. She has only used it once or twice, maybe not even. It has got the gold hardware and it's in its beautiful uh, rich black, which I think they called Neuro? Neuro black? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I will have all the details obviously on my blog, my blog sale when it comes up, but this is the beautiful Prada bag. And yeah, so there is a little sneak peek of sort of what sort of items I will have on the blog sale. I haven't worked out the date I'm going to go live. I will let you know. Please check my website to see. I will let you know on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter when it is going to go live. Uh, in advance. A lot of my friends, followers and subbies want me to do a chit chat luxury uh, brand chit chat video on my Pochette Matisse saga. If you follow me on any other social media such as Facebook or Instagram you would have seen a post or seen me chatting about my Pochette Matisse and the current situation I have sort of put myself in. If you do want me to do a chit chat video on it and talk through with you guys about my thought pattern on it, uh, thumbs this video up so I have a, a, you know, an amount to go off that you want to see it or let me know in the comments below. It will just be a chitter chatter video and my thought pattern of what I'm going through. That concludes this video for today, for Sunday. I hope everybody is really well. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have interest in my blog sale to come, always check my social media. I will let you know in advance when it is going to go live. And yeah, I hope everybody is doing really, really well, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.